Welcome back guys. So today I'm going to talk to you about hitting things while snow plowing and what to do. Let's get into it. No one hit an ATM. No one hit anything. The situation was there. My guy backed up through the drive through lane, the ATM was there, and he was going to push some more up into a pile. He dropped the plow right in front of the ATM, and, and there's some sort of like sensor or inertia switch or something inside the ATM that triggered a silent uh, alarm. The police showed up about 10 minutes later, guys are on top of it, 10 minutes, it's pretty good. Um, so nothing came of that, but I just wanted to come at you with a video on it, what happens if you hit something, like the build, a, a building, or a car, or a sign, or an ATM, or whatever the case may be. First and foremost, you want to alert the property manager or the uh, uh, business owner that you hit something. Second of all, you want to call your insurance agent. Well, luckily for me, it's my wife. Um, third, you want to assure them that you are on top of it. Um, you, you hit a building, you know, on the corner. It's missing four bricks now. You've called the mason. He's coming out to give you an estimate today, and then you're going to move forward with either a insurance or paying out of pocket. And the situation is there. We have an account set up. I call it the situation account, uh, and it's always double my deductible. My deductible's a thousand dollars. I always double it to two thousand, so there's always that amount in there, and it covers any little situation, like say a sign we run over or something drive through sign it's 300 bucks to put it back up or or whatever or bricks on the building it's you know four or five hundred dollars for the mason to come out and fix it that all comes out of that account and i will always pay per situation up to double my deductible so my deductible is a thousand dollars i'll pay up to two thousand dollars per uh situation to get it handled and the only reason why is i don't I, with so many trucks and guys all over on the road, I, I all these little situations that come up, I just want to handle them out of that account, opposed to turning everyone to an ins in, into an insurance. And it's actually dumb for you to turn something in that's below your deductible, anyways. Um, say it's seven hundred dollars and your de deductible is a thousand, and just pay out of pocket the seven hundred. It's it's dumb to uh, it, people do it. It's weird. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with the whole uh, insurance game. And you always want to reassure the customer that you're on top of it. You've got somebody coming out to give an estimate and you're going to get it handled uh, in a timely manner. And it always, you'll have that customer for life. So I just wanted to come at you with a quick video. I thought it'd be pretty cool to put a teaser thumbnail or clickbaity thumbnail title in there. So uh, if you guys have run into any situation like this where you've hit something and you've had to get it taken care of, or yeah, we've, I mean, we've plowed so much snow. We, we've been actually pretty lucky. The last 30 days, we've had 19 events, uh, salt, plow the whole nine yards uh and we're in grand rapids so we get all the lake effects so if they say one we get like eight every time um so i just wanted to come at you with this quick video if you guys have any comments leave them down below if you have any situations where you hit something leave that down below too i'd like to know um and then guys like always comment like subscribe and share the heck out of this and we'll see you tomorrow